So, Jay, and you obviously had a great game tonight. Um, but what's a quarterback without his receivers? So, kind of describe the relationship you have with them and how important they are to you. Uh, I mean, uh, without them, I wouldn't be able to do nothing like this. You know, be able to, for them to catch the ball and be explosive after the catch. You know, uh, that's, not, that's something that too many people don't have in the country. So, uh, just the relationship and the bond that we have on and off the field, you know, it just translates to Saturdays. And we talked with Coach, and it seems that there's very little that you're not seeing out there from the defenses. How, can you speak to the preparation that you've taken throughout the course of this year to be able to, to read everything, understand, and then adjust if, if it is something new? Uh, yeah, I mean, just what the coaches feel like I can handle. You know, they put a lot on my plate, and, you know, I take a lot of responsibility on the offense to be able to go out there and, and have us execute at a high level. Uh, it falls on me, you know, be able to just communicate with the, with the whole offense and what I'm seeing. Uh, and the certain looks that we uh, we uh, went through at practice. So, uh, you know, I give coaches the credit sometimes. You know, they go out there and make practice super hard for us so Saturdays could be easy. What was the conversation like in terms of leaving you in the game and just <laughs> continuing to just let you go in, in terms of people view it as, hey, we're going for the Heisman. I don't know, I don't know what they told you. or. Um, you know, I, I, everybody knew what was, what was at stake. Uh, you know, we just kept flowing, you know, we had eight possession, eight touchdowns. So that's, that's something that, that we take uh, highly as an offense. Um, and this one there, you know, uh, once I, I found out I had the record, I tied the record, you know, I was trying to go again, but you know, I got shut down a little bit, so. Jaden, um, how are you able to, with kind of this kind of gap, I guess, in between SEC play, how are you able to kind of just keep that, that foot on the gas and be as aggressive as you, you can against a team like Georgia State today? Yeah, I mean, it's something that I'm chasing. You know, I'm chasing to be great each and every week. Uh, you know, I still got a long way to go. But, um, you know, you can't take games off because if you do, uh, you know, you might get beat. So uh, you got to play up to that standard that I set for myself and that I set as a whole team, you know, because we're still chasing something at the end of the day. Uh, I mean, we know how just great you've been in terms of improvement in, with your arm and, and particularly the downfield passes. I'm curious, though, just what the – Internal clock has been for you in terms of when you know when to run and when, uh, you know, when's the time to do that because of how explosive you've been with the passing game. Just, just what has that internal clock been like for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a that's a good question. Honestly, uh, I feel like it, it slowed down from what I'm seeing, but uh, there's just certain times where if I could extend the play a little bit longer within the pocket, you know, let my O line, my O line do a phenomenal job blocking the front, um, you know, just to give me a little more time and you know. Uh, so nothing there, then I, from there, it's kind of just a decision I make, like, okay, uh, let me just go ahead and take these couple yards, you know, keep the chains moving because we don't want negative plays. Jaden, one of the critiques last year was, you know, people wanted you to push the ball downfield a little bit more. It actually kind of seems funny at this point remembering that. Was that a focal point to improve upon, or is it is it just more open this year? Like, like what went into just improving your, your shots downfield this year? I mean, I've always been able to throw the deep ball. Uh, you know, it's just the work that we put in this off season. Uh, just going out there and just being decisive. I got guys out there that can make plays. And uh, as a whole offense, we just wanted to figure out ways we could be more explosive. Uh, obviously, downfield shots were a big thing. But, you know, be able to give my receivers casual passes uh, on time so they can go out there and make plays for themselves. Uh, you're always smiling. You know, just <laughs> how fun is it to kind of have this command of, and – be so decisive, like you said, because of your preparation? Yeah, I mean, it makes the game easier going out there and just really just, like you said, being decisive. Uh, the work I put in throughout the week, you know, I've, I've prepared for what was to come on Saturday. So it's like from there, it's just the preparation during the week is just like now I'm just out there just playing football, you know, just having fun. The, the same game I've been playing since I was young. So uh, that's where the joy of stuff comes from. Jaden, I know you always believed in yourself, but when you – when you left your previous place and came here, did you believe this was possible? Uh, I mean, I would be lying if I said I did. I, I believe that I can come here and make an impact. Um, but, you know, just to make an impact to this magnitude and, you know, uh, being the Heisman conversation and stuff like that, that's something I dreamt about. You know, for me, it was kind of just coming here and trying to get a fresh start, you know, just to uh, make a name for myself, you know, from where I was at Arizona State and now coming to LSU just to, uh, go out there and just, you know, find the joy in football again. Kind of just piggybacking off that question. I mean, these last two years have just, I'm sure, been a journey for you, and you've bet on yourself. So what's that like just to see it finally all start paying off for you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really nothing but God. It's, it's God's plan, honestly. Um, 
you know, his timing with everything is just I, I had to go and put the work in. Um, and coming back this offseason, you know, I put the work in uh, day in and day out. Uh, you know, you can't cheat the game of football, so you really got to go out there and just uh, give it your all, you know, just lock in for a couple months and, you know, your life could change. How special is it playing with an offensive line like this and the chemistry that you guys have built from last year to this year? Uh, it's very special knowing that those guys, uh, they trust me and I trust them. You know, I got their back and they got mine. Um, and they do a great job, you know, up front, just how close they are um, with everything, you know, how we're, how close we are as an offense, uh, just from the old line to receivers to running back, everybody. Uh, you know, we all love each other. We all have, have each other's backs. What do you think your last game in Tiger Stadium will will mean next weekend to you when you go uh, out there? It'll mean a lot. Uh, you know, just the journey I've been through, not just here but in college, honestly, and see it to come to an end. Um, you know, I, I can't really say the emotions I'll probably have or, you know, my family will have. That's something that it probably just hit us as I will run out the tunnel for, for the senior night. Uh, you know, my name is announced and stuff like that. Um, but it's going to mean a lot, you know, just being able to come here and, and really just – uh, refocus myself and re uh, rebrand who I wanted to be as a football player and as a man too. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll bring that.